So I started this reading on Instagram and I feel like it needed a longer video so I'm just going to kind of restart, okay? You have you only live once, you have victim mentality and isolation. I feel like with the um, victim mentality card can't cope, won't cope, you could have found something about somebody or heard something, you could have caught somebody red handed with this red hand print over this person's eyes like something is right in your eyes that you guys have seen or heard maybe your intuition is ringing maybe you're getting signs in your dreams whatever this is i feel like you guys are starting to realize that like this person is taking advantage of you eavesdropping manipulating you too hot to handle you have bully toy like this could be somebody that you found out is like not who they truly were telling you or showing you that they were, right? You've heard something, you saw something, you caught them red handed and it's like now you're taking action, right? With the isolation card, remote and alone, I feel like you guys feel alone. You don't know who to talk to or maybe you just don't want to tell people that you're suffering. You may be trying to deal with this on your own, right? And with the only, you only live once card. I just feel like you guys realize that there's too many fish out in the sea, right? I'm not going to sit here and settle and wait for somebody or deal with somebody who's literally in my face hurting me or disrespecting me. This doesn't have to be about love situations, but it can be. This could also be like friendships, family, right? But it's, I just feel like you guys are so tired of being used, taken advantage of. And, you know, it's just like, I feel like you guys feel so alone. Like this could be a repeated pattern. Like maybe this is the person, maybe this person is somebody that constantly hurts you and it's just the final straw. Or it's like you're constantly manifesting in people who are hurting you. And it's just like, you're so over it. You're so done with it. I feel like you guys like, um, see a light at the end of the tunnel. Like there's a way out. I feel like you guys are just so done with this, right? The Five of Cups. I do feel like you guys are hurting right now. Like, the Five of Cups definitely looks like the isolation card. Like, this person's body, like, has holes throughout the whole entire thing. I don't know if you guys could see because my camera freaking sucks. But um, I just feel like you guys are feeling so alone, hurt. You know, I feel like you guys are trying to make important moves here with the strategizing card, Napoleon Outlook. It's like you guys see that there's other things in the world. It's like this is not the only thing that's out there for you and you deserve better. And I feel like you guys are just tired of being taken advantage of and you're moving in another direction. The Four of Pentacles, I feel like this is something that you've invested a lot of yourself into. This could be your heart. This could be a lot of time. This could be even money. Like you could have spent a lot of money on this person or maybe you traveled to see them or whatever this is. I just feel like you guys are just like, you know what? Like it sucks, but I have to do me. Like you're choosing yourself, the devil card, Capricorn energy. I feel like you guys felt like this person's patterns or their toxic ways. This could be like some, they were stuck in, let's say they can't make changes. I feel like this person's just like they, they're who they are and this is who they're going to remain. And I feel like you're noticing this, right? The devil, this could also be like some type of lust here. I'm going to clarify the devil. You could have been dealing with this person. I've seen four of pentacles. Now I see seven of pentacles, four, seven years, maybe even 11. Or this is just somebody that you've grown so close to and so connected to. And it's so hard for you to kind of let this person go. But you saw what you needed to. You have evidence now. Like your, your intuition was confirmed. All right. And the seven of cups. I just feel like you guys know that there's other options out there. I do feel like there's still some type of confusion. Like, should I give this person another shot or should I stay? But I feel like you guys are finally doing something about it. Either speaking up or whatever this is. Um, leaving them behind, moving on. What are you taking action on? The chariot. You're moving. <laughs> You're moving on. You're moving forward towards success, towards victory, okay? Like, not holding back. Can cancer energy here. And the Ace of Cups. Holy shit. Like, you guys are moving on to new. Bigger and better. You guys may have already met somebody new, okay? The High Priestess. You know what's best for you, okay? You know what's best for you. And like I was saying earlier, I feel like your intuition was confirmed. I feel like you guys were getting messages in your dreams. There was a weird feeling when you got with this person or when you're around this person or when you're talking to them, you were getting certain type of feelings. Okay, these were all here to kind of help you see things as they are. So like I said, 
you're moving on the tower. I do not feel like it's easy for you with the magician, but I feel like you guys realize, like, I have everything that I need. Like, this person's missing out on something good. If they can't see it, that's their problem. You know, I'll be somebody else's prize, right? And look, I just realized there's all for your future. All major arcana is in an ace. Like, these are major steps that you guys are taking, and I'm literally getting goosebumps, too, as well. Like, you guys are headed in the right direction, so don't doubt yourself. I don't think you are, but I do feel like it hurts, and it's like there's that hope that, like, maybe this could be something that comes back together, or maybe this person will realize what they lost and change their ways, and, you know, I feel like you guys are really hoping for that, right? You're hoping for this person to change their ways, but I feel like deep down, the, the high priestess in the tower, if you were to stick around, you, you're going to get hurt again. Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Wow. So it's like there could be a lot of third parties. There could be a lot of lying. There could be a lot of deceit. This person may gossip about you or spread your information or what it is that you got going on to other people. Um, the Four of Cups. This person's missing out, okay? And you know it. They know it. The Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. This could be a past life soulmate of yours. This could have been somebody that you were waiting for from the past that came back but came back and hurt you again. Whatever this is, there's a repeated pattern here from the past, something that keeps on happening. But the Seven of Pentacles is a card of progress. It is a card of delays and setbacks and stuff too as well. But it's a card of doing the work and reaping the rewards, okay? So not going back to the past is definitely going to be important for you with this connection. Because I feel like you were putting too much of yourself out there. And you were not getting that back. How does this person see you? <clears throat> the Nine of Wands. Hurt. The Two of Swords blocking them, the Six of Wands, somebody who's very popular, beautiful, successful, in the public eye maybe even, this person sees that they know that they've hurt you, they know that they've hurt you, but it's like maybe they don't want to take accountability, but I know that they feel like you just don't even want to look at them, like they may talk to you and you're literally looking at the wall, like that's what I'm seeing, it's like you, you don't even want to look at them, you don't even want to make that eye contact, the death card. They know that you're done with them. You could have literally told them that you're done with them. You could have blocked them from everything. Or you totally con you totally changed your ways. Like you've went through the dark night of the soul. You went through an awakening here. And you are changing within. And because you're changing within. All your external things are going to start changing too. Your friends. You know. Your mindset. Uh, the way you feel about things. Your wants. Your needs. The things that you've been. You know looking for in relationships, those things are changing. The things you would settle for, those things are changing. Like you guys are making a complete turnaround in your life and this person will no longer be able to have that type of power over you to hold you back and keep on manipulating you and hurting you and pulling you down. Like I said, you only live once. You guys are realizing that and you guys are, you know, lacing up your boots and getting ready to go. And I feel like there's a lot of like anxiety over this right because like even like my heart's starting to race so this could be like a lot of nerves that are coming in for you just don't fall back into temptation with this person because i feel like this person if you try to walk away from them they're gonna try to keep you stuck they're gonna try to say everything that they can to keep you there because they know that they're losing a good thing the wheel of fortune yeah the death card and the Wheel of Fortune back to back is like, this is time for you guys to complete this story here and start a brand new one. You know, everything that you needed to learn has been learned here. It's like a graduation here. It's like you guys have, you know, completed something spiritually here. And I do feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, everything that happens, happens for a reason. Okay. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You guys are headed towards success. Your focus might also be on your career right now. Like maybe you're not even focused on love. Maybe your idea or maybe your focus is on the Magician, the Ace of Cups, the Chariot, like a passion of yours or focusing or honing on on your skills or your um, abilities. You could, you could also be very psychic. You could be like a tarot reader or something with the Magician, the High Priestess. <clears throat> This could be something that you guys are choosing to do here. I just feel like you're very psychic and you use your gifts. 
um, wisely and you guys are getting signs everywhere so that it's time for you guys to move on, right? The Queen of Cups, I feel like you guys have learned to control your feelings or your emotions and not let people kind of get in, right? So especially with this person trying to reel really you back in, I feel like you guys have gotten stronger with this. I'm going to find out how this person is feeling. Collapse and downfall and finding self. It was in reverse, guys. So I don't think this person is ready to find themselves yet. You have collapse and downfall. I don't even think, with that being in reverse, I don't even think this person has reached rock bottom for them to realize that there is something that they need to change, especially if you're still in contact with this person. They feel like they still got you, all right? But in your mind, I feel like you've made up your mind. And deep, dark depression. So this person may stay in the dark room a lot or stay alone a lot, like uh, with the lights off. Like this person may not really like to talk a lot. Refocusing and gaining clarity. I feel like that's you. And then you have third parties. So there could have been lies. There could have been deceits. There could have been third parties here. And then you have lies, trickery, and deception. And you literally have finesse, manipulator, trickster. Like, this person's very tricky. They know the right words to say to keep you stuck. They could have used, like, scare tactics to keep you stuck, right? You have waiting game. It's like this person, if you've left this person already, they're just waiting for you to message them back because they feel like you're going to come back. If you've left, they feel like you're just doing this to kind of get attention. And that I've just seen 11-11 too, but they feel like you're doing this to get attention and that you're, it's only a matter of time till you come back or till you message them back. And I feel like you guys have totally just made up your mind and you guys are like, you nope, know, I'm done. The mask has finally came off. And you see this person's true colors. As I'm saying that, the blind, it fell in reverse, right? So you are no longer blinded to this person's lies or to what it is that they were doing. You're no longer choosing to see the good parts over the negatives either. I feel like you guys may be like fresh dating or maybe you guys have found out that this person was dating behind your back or hooking up or on dating sites right? One night stands and things like this. Whatever this is, you caught them red-handed and now you're moving forward. I feel like your focus is on your future, on your money, on um, with the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, long-lasting like happiness with the Ace of Cups, right? Like you guys are no longer settling for less. There's too many people out in this damn world for us to be settling for one specific person. You have decision, right? I feel like this person made the wrong decision. They did things for the wrong reasons. And I do feel like you guys are at a point to now where it's like you guys are very uncertain if you're making the right decision, but I feel like you are, especially with this person with the devil and the five of cups. They could have made you feel like you were nothing. They could have made you feel empty on the inside. This person tried to make you feel lower than them. So this way they had that power over you. Okay, they could have tried to keep you away from people. You have observed being watched. You also have watching you online. This person's like stalking you or trying to figure out what's going on in your life. They do not want you talking to anybody else. You have triggers. This person has a lot of inner child wounds that they have never tried to heal from. And this, you could also, okay? And maybe this could have been like a trauma bond thing, right? But I do feel like you guys, um, and it says attracting toxic on the bottom of the deck. And like I was saying, maybe you guys have a pattern of attracting toxic people or attracting nar narcissistic manipulative people and when you're an empath that's something that like most empaths actually like draw in um because we have a mission here to kind of show these people like what true love real love real friendships are and in those times like we are there to help them change their life now it's up to them they have free will and whether they're going to do that or not but we, you know, are brought into their lives before we were born. We signed these soul contracts with these people. Yes, even the ones that hurt us the worst, even the ones that we hate, can't stand, they fucking abused us, they did all this shit. We signed soul contracts with them because through these connections, we learn so much about other people and we learn so much about ourselves and we make changes to make things better. And sometimes we don't, we just sit there and suffer our whole lives. I don't think you guys are doing that. I feel like this person's going to have a very difficult time 
trying to change. But I do feel like this connection is going to be something that really is an eye opener for them and makes them realize that if they keep on continuing on being the way that they are now that they're never going to end up happy. They're going to be old and alone. You know, I feel like you guys are not trying to waste any more time on people. You have hidden treasure right here with my card sticking out. It's like you guys realize that you're the prize, like, you know, and if people can't see that, then the right one will. Let's get a message from Spirit. The Nine of Swords. The Empress. And the Three of Cups. It might be hurtful now. It might be very difficult now. You may be having a hard time sleeping. Okay? Maybe you guys need to buy like a water fountain and listen to the water. You know what I mean? Trying to go to sleep. You can even put like nature videos and stuff like that. Hearing the sound of nature and stuff. I don't know why I'm getting that. Maybe it's because the Empress is here or something. And she's usually like um, springtime to me. Like flowers. Like blooming. Creativity. Pregnancies. Like whatever this is. I just feel like you guys. Spirit wants you to get out of your head and to realize that you know. You are perfect the way that you are, and if other people can't see that, then somebody else will. They're just getting, you know, they're getting out the way, so that way that space can be filled with somebody who will take care of you. With the Three of Cups, it's about finding your inner happiness. And the Empress is also about being comfortable and confident within yourself and knowing that you are the shit and that you can have anything that you want. Just don't settle for less, okay? I want to see how you view yourself. The Two of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. I don't know. Maybe you guys are having a difficult time holding things in. You can have a pattern of holding things in, not really speaking your truth. Um, you also may have a pattern of, like, healing yourself. Like, I feel like you're somebody that you're, like, you don't need other people to talk to in order to kind of fix yourselves. You can kind of do it yourself. But with the Two of Pentacles, I feel like you're having a hard time making decisions and the Four of Swords, I feel like you feel like um, you're taking some time right now to clear your mind or you need some like maybe meditation or something. And the Eight of Cups, you guys may be like disconnecting from a lot of people, okay? And I do feel like you guys do need support. Like, you guys do need a friend around. Like, if there's somebody around that you guys can talk to, I feel like it's important for you to get it out. And if you feel like you can't talk to or trust the people that are around you, write it down on a piece of paper. Talk, you know, and burn it. Do a burn and release. Or you could talk to your angels, your guides, your spirits. They are all your ancestors, your past loved ones. They are always there with us. Okay? So, anyway, it's 1717. 17, 17. <laughs> Anyway, I hope this helps, and I hope you guys have a great day, all right? See ya.